Meanwhile, tonight on the crime beat, a veteran Metro police officer will soon learn the charges after fellow officers arrested him for DUI. Now, his initial blood alcohol level was reportedly three times the legal limit. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson broke the news of the arrest on Twitter today. Steve joins us from Metro headquarters tonight with reaction from Indy's top cop. This is the first time the new police chief here at Metro headquarters has had to deal with one of his officers getting busted for DUI. The police chief expressed disappointment, especially since this is an officer who's been on the force for years. As a police department, um, it, it doesn't make us look that good. Metro Police Chief Ryan Roach wants to know what pushed Lieutenant Steve King to drinking and driving. IMPD released this booking photo of the 50-year-old officer Thursday morning. On Wednesday evening around 8 o'clock, King reportedly made a food run to this East 96 Steak and Shake. While ordering his food in the drive-thru, according to employees, King passed out. After coming to, he paid for his food at the window and drove away. His boss suspects personal problems and job stress may play a role. We've taken great strides as a police department to try and identify those issues and, and get them into services. Shortly after leaving the Steak and Shake, King drove to the intersection of Gwynway and Village. This is where two rookie officers reportedly found him passed out again behind the wheel of his personally owned SUV with his foot on the brake and the engine running. During his initial portable breathalyzer test, sources say King's blood alcohol level measured 0.225. IMPD's discipline policy will slap King with an automatic 30-day suspension. His boss must make some decisions, too. I hope to have a meeting this afternoon about where we stand on the investigation and his charges and administratively. King will eventually appear before a judge here at the city county building where he will learn his exact charges surrounding the DUI. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.